Another model to multiply two numbers that have decimals in them is called the compensation method. So with this method, the idea behind it is that we create both of these decimal numbers and we make them into whole numbers. So for my first one, 31.4, if I multiply by 10 wholes, all of my numbers are going to shift um, a, into the next place value up. So my decimal is going to end up being behind that four. So when I multiply this number by 10, I now have 314. In order to get this number to be a whole number, I have to make two jumps or multiply by 100. When I multiply by 100, my numbers will shift two place value spots and my decimal will end up being behind the five. So this will turn into 285. So essentially what you're doing is making these numbers whole numbers so that they are easier to multiply. So then from here, you're going to set up a regular multiplication problem. So I am going to go ahead and just so I have room, I'm going to make this 314 times 285. Okay, so I'm going to do five times four, which is 20, carry my two. Five times one is five plus two is seven. And then five times three is 15. So then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a place value. I have eight times four, which is 32. Eight times one is eight, plus three is 11. Eight times three is 24, plus one is 25. Because I'm going into my third digit now, I'm in the hundreds place, I need to have two placeholders. Two times four is eight. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. I'm going to add zero, nine, eight plus one is nine, plus five is going to be 14. Carry my one. Five plus two is seven, plus one is eight, plus one is nine. And then two plus six is going to be eight. Okay, so now that I have my number, eight, nine, four, nine, zero, I'm going to look back at what I multiplied by in the beginning and then divide by that number. So I multiplied by 10 and I multiplied by 100, so 10, times 100 is 1,000. So in order to get my number back to where it needs to be, I need to divide by 1,000. When I divide by 1,000, my decimal place is here, and I'm going to move or shift my numbers over three times. So one, two, three. So then my decimal is going to end up in there my final answer is going to be 89.49. So 31.4 times 2.85 is 89.49.